Currently, renewable energy, particularly solar and wind, accounts for 15% of electricity generation in the United States and will play an increasingly important role in the foreseen future. However, renewable generation is unpredictable and intermittent, which does not match with power demand. This difference between total demand and renewable generation is known as net demand. The net demand needs to be satisfied by other sources of energy, usually fossil fuel based generators. Traditionally, the slow varying portion of the net demand is supplied with fossil fuel based generators. The rest of the mismatch is quickly varying and traditional generators cannot ramp up and down that quickly. Other resources are needed, such as batteries. There is a major initiative, both nationally and internationally, to increase dependence on renewable sources of energy. The blue line shows generator mismatch with the current amount of renewable sources. However, as we increase the dependence of electric power from renewables, this mismatch will inevitably become bigger because of the volatility of the renewable sources. There are two approaches to compensate for this mismatch. The first approach is to use batteries, but batteries are expensive. The second approach is to slightly change the way loads consume power so that the consumption matches with the generation from renewable sources, but in such a way that consumers do not feel any difference. This second approach is a lot cheaper than batteries. Researchers at the University of Florida are developing ways to make loads behave as virtual batteries. We will use loads to manipulate demand and thus match renewable generation. This needs to be done in such a way that the customers don't feel any discomfort. This form of demand manipulation is called a virtual battery. Let us look at an example of a virtual battery. Observe the graph in the right bottom corner. Say the air conditioner in house 1 follows the on-off cycle as shown in blue and that in house 2 follows the on-off cycle shown in orange. Now, when we look at the aggregation of both loads shown in green, we can see that a part of the load after sunset has been shifted to a time before sunset. Hence, we have consumed more energy when the renewable generation was high and less when the renewable generation was low. It is important to note that despite load manipulation, the houses stay within their comfort zone. One might argue that such a load consumption cycle is possible even when the houses were operating in a conventional manner, but our control strategy guarantees that such a demand consumption will occur. In our research, we are developing algorithms to increase the scale of this strategy. How do we coordinate the actions of millions of households in a city, state, or even a nation so that together they can absorb the volatility of renewables without requiring a central authority. Consumers' privacy and comfort must be maintained at all times, which is another challenge. Is there a loss of energy efficiency in doing so? If so, how can we mitigate that? In fact, since virtual batteries will be created using software, can the same software also deliver higher energy efficiency and increased comfort to occupants? Finally, can we use such decentralized decision making to provide improved services in other domains, such as transportation, and transform cities and communities into smart cities and smart communities? These are some of the questions we would like to answer. The end goal is a smart and sustainable future. Music